What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. And yes, I am finally back at home. I'm finally in my own crib back at my uh, home setup. Uh, the lights came on today. I am so very thankful, man. I've literally been out with no lights, no electricity in my place since Monday morning early monday morning i want to say maybe five in the morning that's when the lights went out and it is saturday saturday july 13th and i literally just got the lights turned back on maybe maybe like around five o'clock today you know like five five thirty today so it's been six days without any lights in the crib so obviously y'all know i've been recording at my grandmother's I want to give a special thanks to obviously my grandmother for opening up the crib and my mom, you know, for being cool with that, allowing me to at least record for you guys and check out some content for you guys and drop it for you as well. And also still want to give a very special shout out to the homie Dub, of course, for opening up his crib last night. So that way we could check out the Eminem uh, album and also the uh, Smackdown live stream. Um, Appreciate him for even doing that. Uh, you know, shout out to Nisha as well. You know, I, I really do appreciate that, man. And I appreciate each and every one of y'all for being patient with me, for, you know, even checking out the videos that I was dropping. You know, I literally was recording off this phone, bro. This is this is it. I was recording off this phone and I had my, my AirPods in as my microphone. That's it. And I'm literally doing everything in one take. Yes, I have my laptop, but. It was kind of giving me some issues on even trying to edit and stuff like that. So, you know, I kind of had to do everything essentially almost in one take. And I just really do appreciate y'all for just being really supportive and, and rocking with the vids and commenting and enjoying that. Even my last video, uh, I ended up recording uh, the one before the, the my Smackdown review, I guess you can say. I was recording that in the car, heading to my grandmother's to get that out to y'all as soon as possible. and y'all was really rocking with that so if y'all want me to do more commentary style videos because i do be having a lot of ideas of you know booking decisions or you know what my how i would book things or you know just whatever happens recently in wrestling you know i want to kind of talk about and get my opinion on or i see somebody say something on social media and i kind of want to talk about it if y'all really want me to do some more of those i definitely will there are some videos i've been wanting to check out and react to uh, on the channel so i definitely will i'm gonna be trying to run it up y'all so y'all gonna be seeing more vids these next couple of days i'm gonna go crazy with them as much as i possibly can because you know i kind of gotta make sure you know i push out the content as much as i can for y'all we're gonna be doing the same thing on the end of clutch page and definitely on the car page i haven't posted nothing all week you know because i haven't really been doing anything car related and hadn't really been checking out no car reactions and stuff so i'm gonna go crazy on the cruising with ross page so make sure y'all subscribe to that if you haven't already um but yeah this was definitely one of those things where i'm just glad that you know all my family and friends were okay and you know during this tough time and and what's even crazier there's still some people i know that don't have power yet and i'm gonna continue to pray for them you know and hopefully they're able to get the power situated because to be honest with you center point they have a monopoly down here in uh well especially in houston they're like one of the biggest electrical companies in houston like majority of houston gets their electrical energy from center point even if you get it from another company my energy company is txu they get the energy from center point so the fact that there's still so many people left with no electricity is ridiculous and it, there was rumors and reports going on that there was some the you know some discrepancies with center point not wanting to pay some of these contractors that were coming from different um different parts of the country to help out with what's going on down here they didn't want to pay them a certain rate like it was a lot of bs bro and there was not much uh communication and the fact that they gave you a map of what areas have energy and what doesn't and then there's uh there's a decent amount of areas in the city that are colored in a in a uh particular color and 
they don't even know when they're going to get energy. Like, that's ridiculous. And I was one of those, the place I live in is one was one of those places. In fact, shout out to um, the person that's over the HOA um, where I stay at. She actually uh, contacted me and hit me up and she went out her way to find um, one of these individuals out here that, you know, that are working on uh, the power lines and stuff. She went out her way, tried to find someone, found someone and asked if they could follow her back to the complex where I stay at so they can at least check it out. And they actually did. And without her, I don't think we, I'd still probably wouldn't have power, but everywhere around me, they now have energy. It's just this particular, um, complex that I'm in for whatever reason, we didn't have energy. We were still without power. But if I go right next door to the town homes next door to me, they have power and I go right across the street, they have power, but we didn't still. There's a decent amount of people that live over here, um, older people that live over here too, you know, and it's hot. It's hot even during the nighttime. So I just really want to, you know, give th uh, thanks to her as well for um, legitimately going out her way to get someone to come over here because shit, we, I probably still would, wouldn't have power right now if it wasn't for her going out her way to kind of help everybody here. So I'm, I'm very thankful for that. Um, and once again, y'all continue to pray for those right now that are, that are actually dealing with it still. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. It should not be like this. There needs to be some type of, uh, better planning because we have another hurricane potentially coming, uh, coming our way. And it's funny. The name of the hurricane is Chris. So everyone's calling calling it Hurricane Chris. And if you know the rapper, Hurricane Chris, you know, it's, it's kind of ironic. That's the next hurricane that's supposed to head our way. And we technically, we just got here with a tropical storm. It turned into a tropical storm, but the wind speeds were pretty tough. And it shouldn't have knocked out the grid like that. And it shouldn't have taken as long for Centerpoint to even get to help these customers and people out. Like, it's ridiculous, bro. It's really ridiculous. We pay all this money for lights and you got people. There's no reason six days in hot Houston weather with no, no electricity. That's not good. So I'm just very thankful. I'm very happy. Uh, continue to pray uh, for, you know, people in the city. They're definitely going to need it. But like I said, we're going to go up on the content, going up on the videos. I'm going to be dropping be dropping some vids so yeah if y'all wanted some more content you know I'm, I'm gonna be able to do that for y'all i wanted to at least get one video a day at my grandmother's but now we're about to run it up it's, it's time to run it up man so i just want to say i thank y'all for all the well wishes i thank y'all for all the the love and support and uh your boy is back and i'm happy i can't wait to film some more content for y'all oh, this it feels so good man feels so good and that's why you always got to cherish things while you can because you never know when something happens and it can be taken away and i'm glad to be able to do this for y'all once again so uh yeah man comment down below let me know some videos y'all want me to check out wrestling related videos comment down below as well some other topics y'all want me to make a commentary on let me know man let me know what y'all want me to do and i'm gonna deliver for y'all man bro i appreciate all love support road to 150k appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all next one peace